I've been talking with Jenny Bimrose from the University of Warwick about using labour market information effectively in practice, and she told me some of the things she'd found out from her research. Labour market information, which was identified by practitioners as absolutely essential, includes local information and trends, issues around equal opportunities, trends and data about different regions, trends again about self-employment, and detailed information about different occupations. It includes looking at sectors and the qualification levels in different sectors. And in the fast-changing labour markets today, it includes keeping up to date with the latest developments. What was the most useful labour market information? Well, they said local data, especially when it's up to date, and trends related to skills, organisational change, and the restructuring of the labour market, accessible materials gauged towards clients, sector-based examples and studies. They said information that can be printed and given out, very useful. Information on skills mismatches, and particularly how skills change between different contexts. And as we're aware, with increasingly young people looking for labour market information on the internet, materials on the internet are very, very important to them. What's the least useful LMI, they told us? Well, raw statistics, pretty obviously. It's hard to make sense of them, but also out-of-date information. And information just around employees who've been in an industry for a number of years doesn't really help so much for people starting out. And information about the training needs of particular sectors wasn't seen as so important. Now, let's look at it from the other side. What do clients want to know? What do potential job seekers or people looking at courses want to know? Well, they want to know the competition they face, the entry routes into a particular comp uh, occupation, the rewards they might get, and the availability of jobs in their own travel-to-work areas. What's their prospects of really securing employment in a particular job? Now, how valuable are particular qualifications or experience or training? How valuable would it be to do a training course and would that help them to get a job in the sector they're looking at? Now, the effective use of NMI involves challenging customers and clients, sharing information that helps develop new perspectives on a problem, giving new intelligence, and of course, correcting misinformation. I mean, it's the other side of the internet, isn't it? You can get a lot of information, but there's also a lot of misinformation. So three crucial elements, the skills in giving information to people. Well, first, pretty obviously, there's a big difficulty in how to choose the right sources of that information. And then how to ensure that the information is understandable. It's not a simple business. And how to ensure that the information, once you've given it, is received and is understood. It's making intelligence out of information.